So Raspberry Pi 5 is about two or three times faster processor, quad core, 2.4 gigahertz. Mm -hmm. It comes in two varieties right now, eight gig and four gig of RAM. Uh, there's a lot more new stuff going on on there. Hey, it's Eamon with IP Exchange at Rome Maker Fair 2023. We're at the beginning of the second today. We've come to the Raspberry Pi stand before it gets absolutely rammed. <laughs> I'm here with uh, Matt and he's gonna tell us about a few things, but maybe most importantly of all, the new Raspberry Pi 5. So. Uh, Matt, what's, um, what's the updates compared to previous models? So Raspberry Pi 5 is about two or three times faster processor, quad core, 2.4 gigahertz. Mm -hmm. It comes in two varieties right now, eight gig and four gig of RAM. Uh, there's a lot more new stuff going on on there. It's got uh, a new chip on it that's designed by us called mm -hmm. RP1 that handles all the I.O. of the peripherals on the board. Oh, sweet. Okay. USB, Ethernet, the camera modules, the MIPI camera and display modules and the GPIO all go through the RP1. Oh, okay. uh, and so you'll get better performance over USB yeah, nice. because of that. And then you get lots more bandwidth if you're using USB and Ethernet all together. Cool. Well, I'm really glad that mystery has been cleared up because I was like, RP1. Oh, New chip. What is it? Yeah. What is this? What is this? That's ours. <laughs> cool. That's a chip. And so our first yeah. new chip was uh, RP2040. Yeah, I love it. I've had, I had a play. Yeah. It's really good. So uh, you're seeing some more cool stuff coming out of Raspberry Pi. Nice. Cool. Uh, so um, yeah, I, I guess this is a setup of it yes. in action on a, on a, on a Linux system. Yes. Um, this is Raspberry Pi OS. Okay. Uh, we've updated it to uh, be, it, it uses, uh, it's based on Debian Linux. So this okay, is the fair. Bookworm yeah. version. Cool. You have to use Bookworm. Uh, with uh, Raspberry Pi 5, Wayland desktop, and okay. you'll see some screaming performance out of it. Cool. Um, I'm not actually very used to using the system, so do you want to give a, oh, yeah, a little yeah. demo of kind of how, how it's all set up? Yeah, sure. So this is just the out of the box out of the box desktop experience. And that's what we wanted to provide here so people could see it as a general purpose computer. So um, people are trying out Chromium, they're pulling it up, they're opening up, you know, they're just doing all the regular stuff like pulling up 4K YouTube videos which just play beautifully oh, on lovely. Raspberry Pi 5. Um, what's great about this is that it'll support uh, two 4K displays at 60p, so really great performance. Uh, if it loads a little slow, it's likely because of the internet here at Maker Faire, it's always a little, yeah, you yeah. know. But um, you'll see lots of 4K videos playing uh, really beautifully uh, on uh, Raspberry Pi 5. Lovely. And uh, just in terms of the connectivity there, uh, I can see is that four USB, are there those uh, three or two? Two USB 2 ports okay. and two USB 3.0 okay. ports. And then, yep. I guess, Ethernet. Um, Ethernet, gig Ethernet, okay. um, two MIPI ports, so those can be yep. used for two cameras or two displays or okay. one of each. Um, and then we also have, if you have an adapter, we're going to have an adapter for PCI Express as well on oh, Raspberry Pi 5. So nice. yeah, a lot more you could do with it. Cool. And um, just in terms of availability and pricing, what uh, where, what kind of were you talking? So for the 8 gig model, the top yeah. of the line yeah. model, we're talking about $80. Okay. For the 4 gig model, $60. It's going to start shipping very soon uh, from approved resellers. Uh, that's at the end of this month. Uh, okay. Probably you'll start seeing them. If you pre-order right now, you're probably talking about November right now. Oh, sweet. Cool. Yeah. And, uh, and here in Italy, uh, Mello Pero uh -huh. is uh, pre -ordering, taking pre-orders right now. Nice. Cool. Um, well, uh, we've, we're one day in to Rome Maker Faire. How have you found the experience so uh, far? It's fantastic. There's tons of enthusiastic people here. A lot of people coming up to us because they've heard about Raspberry Pi 5 mm. and they want to get their hands on with it. That's exactly why we come here, mm. is because we want people to try it out and see how amazing it is. Um, the enthusiasm here, just among, and seeing makers all over. Yeah. We love it. We love makers. I'm a maker myself, so nice. uh, you know it's just exciting to see all this, uh, all the excitement. What kind of projects are you working on at the moment? Uh, so I have been so busy getting all all this <laughs> no, stuff set up, understand. but um, you know, I think um, with the beautiful video, I would mm. love to do some like projection mapping kind of stuff. Oh, Interactive yeah. projection really mapping cool. is kind of what I'm interested in right yeah. now. But uh, this really early, just ideas right now. Nice, <laughs> cool. Well, all the best. So, Raspberry Pi Five. Everyone's been looking forward to coverage of this. Uh, so, I'm so glad we got to talk to them and have a little play at uh, Make Fair Rome. Here is Jake's Raspberry Pi 3. It's uh, quite a throwback, but there's tons more features on the Raspberry Pi 5, including one of my favorite things, an on-off switch. So yeah, follow the link in the description below to learn more, and we'll do what we can to get you evaluating the technology if you need a load of them.